First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Rakar Kadash, double honor to the elders of GMS, who I learned this truth from. I would like to give a salutation to all the Akim out there that's preaching this word in righteous and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Also, a shout out to the Israelite foreigners out there, the speckled bird who are going to come looking like other nations, but who are Israelites. Shalom, well, man. Today's lesson is going to be about Yahweh Shah is worthy of praise, man. Once again, man, Yahweh Shah is worthy of praise, man. You got other Israelite camps out here thinking they can get to the Father without Yahweh Shah, man. Only thing you asking for and you will receive is death, man. How can you disrespect Yahweh Shah, man, who died for our sins, man? He was the ultimate sacrifice, man. Okay? But once again, man, everybody is back in their lot, man, because there's a thing called reincarnation, man. Okay? All right? 2,000 years ago, these same, okay, niggas was on the scene, and they didn't believe on the Messiah then, man. They didn't believe on Yahweh Shah then, man. So, hey, why would it be any different this time? Because everybody come back in their lot, man. All right? And with that being said, man, we're going to take it straight to the scriptures, man. This is John chapter 14, verse 6. All right? Yahweh Shah said unto him, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Let's read that again, man. Yahweh Shah said unto him, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Did you hear that, Sakari? Okay? And I'm definitely talking to you, man. Because I ain't finna hold no punches up here, man. Ain't no need in it, man. All right? I got to shoot it straight, man. All right? Alize, Alizar. Hey, listen, man. You better repent, man. Or you gonna get put to death, man. Don't you know Yahweh Shah and Yahweh are one? What does that mean? They have the same state of mind. Okay? They preach the same thing, the same doctrine. Whatever you see Yahweh Shah do, hey, the same thing Yahweh do, man. There's no confusion between them, man. They are one, unlike you. Okay? Let's continue on, man. All right? This is uh, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 18 and 20, man. Okay? This is Ephesians chapter 2, verse 18 and 20. For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Through who? Through who? Yahweh Shah, man. Through him we have access to the Father, Yahweh, man. Because Yahweh Shah is a mediator, okay? Between what? Between us and Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? Let's read that part again. For through him. Yahweh Shah, we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Because once again, Yahweh, he had done away with us, man. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of Yahweh. Okay? Verse 20. And are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Yahweh Shah himself, being the chief cornerstone, man. So he's the chief cornerstone. You remove that cornerstone, the whole building collapses, man. And that's Yahweh Shah, man. Because once again, man, Yahweh Shah was the ultimate sacrifice, man. He was the righteous sacrifice, man. Okay, for us being able to come back into the fold, man. All right? We can't forget that, man. Arrogance and pride lead to death, man. Because one thing about you guys, man, Sakari, man, Especially, especially you, Alizar. Listen, man. You have envy and pride in you, man. And I see it. Everybody see it, man. You know? Because really, you want to be the top guy. It ain't about that. The top guy is Yahweh Shai. Okay? He's the ultimate Israelite. He's the first spirit created, man. Okay? All right? Let's get that, let's get that understood off the top, man. What in the hell are you talking about, man? You better repent, man. All right. Let's continue on, man. 
Let's go to 1 Peter's, man. This is 1 Peter's chapter 2, verse 4 to 6, man. 1 Peter's chapter 2, verse 4 to 6. To whom cometh as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of Yahweh and precious. Who is that stone talking about, man? Yahweh Shai. Let's continue on, man. Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house and their holy priesthood. But their holy priesthood starts with Yahweh Shai. Okay? To offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Yahweh by Yahweh Shai. Once again, man, Yahweh Shai sacrifice, right? Him sacrifice himself, him dying for us, was acceptable in the eyes of Yahweh. Because we got to understand something. Animal sacrifices were no more acceptable until Yahweh, man. Okay? Let's continue on, man. All right? Wherefore, also, it is contained in the scriptures, Behold, I lay in Sinai a chief cornerstone. That chief cornerstone is Yahweh Shah. Elect precious. And he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. See, Sakar, this is why you're confounded, man. Because you don't believe in Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? This is why you're confounded, man. Through Yahweh Shah, through Yahweh was Yahweh Shah, all things are possible, man. But you must believe on Yahweh Shah as well as Yahweh, man. Because they are one. Two separate beings, right? Father and son, but one, right? Far as in their mind, in their thoughts, in their doctrine, okay? There's no separation, man. They both speak the same thing and walk the same path, man. Yahweh Shah lives to do the will of his father, man. Okay? All right? Let's continue on, man. This is Acts chapter 4, verse 10 to 12, man. All right? Acts chapter 4, verse 10 to 12. But it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Yahweh Shah of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom Yahweh raised up from the dead, even by him doeth this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. <clears throat> Who is that stone once again? Yahweh Shai. Let's continue on, man. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name on the heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Did you hear that? I was up. <laughs> Did you hear that? Sakar? Let's read that part again. Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. There you have it, man. If you don't honor Yahweh Shah the Son, you disrespect the Father, Yahweh. You need to understand that, man. Okay? And that's the way Yahweh was looking at it. Then Yahweh said, This is my son. That I'm well pleased with? Who do you think he was talking about? Yahweh Shai. All right. Let's continue on, man. Let's continue on. Let's go to Isaiah, man. This is Isaiah 28 and 16. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, Yahweh, behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone. Who is that stone? Yahweh Shai, man. A tried stone. He was tried. He came down here with no blemishes, man. He was tempted. In every sense of the word, tempted. Okay? That would made him tried and proven. A tried stone. Even Satan tempted Yahweh Shah. He didn't fold, man. He didn't fold. Okay? He didn't fold. All right? Let's continue on, man. All right? A precious cornerstone, a sure foundation, 
He that believeth shall not make haste, man. There you have it, man. He that believeth shall not make haste, man. Okay? But hey, man, you Sakar, man. Alizar, you better repent, man. All of y'all Sakar better repent, man. You're going to die, man. Because Sakar is about, I mean, Alizar is about to lead the rest of Sakar to the what? To the hellfire, man. And the hellfire is those nuclear missiles. Because we know there's no such thing as hell. It doesn't exist. All right? But let's continue on, man. Let's get Romans, man. This is Romans chapter 9, verse 33, man. All right? Let's get that. This is Romans chapter 9, verse 33. As it is written, Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone and a rock of offense, and whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Who is that talking about, man? Yahweh Shah. And that scripture is particularly for you, Alizar, and the whole camp of Sakar, because y'all are ashamed of Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah is a stumbling block to you niggas, man. Let's read that again, man. As it is written, Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone and a rock of offense. Huh? Yahweh Shah is a rock of offense to y'all, man. And whosoever believes on him shall not be ashamed, man. You're ashamed in Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? You're ashamed in Yahweh Shah. And y'all guys call yourself men of the Lord. You don't see all this is going on in the world, man? Hey, man, massive death is about to go out, man. Man, Yahweh, boy, Shem Yahweh Shah is about to break the high score, man. But first, he going to start at the house of Israel. Who is the house of Israel? You Negro, Latinos, Native American Indians, seven of Indians, you Israelite foreigners, man. Yahweh, boy, Shem Yahweh Shah is about to be do a lot of killing, man. I'm starting with the, with the young all the way to the old and the man and woman, man. Hey, man. It's a, it's, a, it's a saying that the young folks use in the street talking about being lit. Well, let me give you a little secret, man. Yahweh with me out of shop. Hey, he's the most lit as he can get, man. Okay? He ain't finna play, man. He ain't finna play, man. He's about to do a lot of killing, man. Okay? A lot of righteous killing. <laughs> Should I say. But let's continue on, man. Let's continue on. Let's go to Timothy, man. First Timothy. First Timothy chapter 2. Alright. First Timothy chapter 2. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 5 and 7. For there is one God, Yahweh, and one mediator between Yahweh and man, the man Yahweh Shah. Let me read it again, man. For there is one God, Yahweh, and one mediator between Yahweh and man, the man Yahweh Shah. What is Sakari talking about, man? Yahweh Shah is the mediator between what? Between us and Yahweh. Okay? Who gave himself a ransom for all that sacrifice. On that cross to be testified in due time. Whereunto I am ordained a preacher and an apostle. I speak the truth in Yahweh Shah and lie not, a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity. Yeah, and that Gentiles in faith is what? You Israelite foreigners, man. Okay, you Israelite foreigners. They have been what? Scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, man. That's not talking about the natural Gentile. Let's get that understanding as well, man. Okay? All right? Let's continue on, man. Let's go to Hebrews, man. This is Hebrews chapter 9, man. All right? We're going to come with it today, man. We're going to come with it today, man. Because there's no way in hell, man. I'm going to sit back. And here you talk this about the about the Savior, about the Messiah, man. Not me. Hell no. Let's go to the book of Hebrews, man. All right.
This is Hebrews chapter 9. And I'm going to start at, let's see, Hebrews chapter 9. I'm going to start at verse 11 to 15, man. But Yahweh Shai being come and high priest of good things to come by a greater, more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building, neither by the blood of goats and calves, because once again, those sacrifices are no more good. Let's read that part again. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered at once into the holy place, having obtained, obtained eternal redemption for us. Let's read that part again, man. Because, hey, Sakar, y'all must not know about this scripture right here, man. This is what? Hebrews 9 and 12. The same book that y'all don't, uh, <laughs> y'all say Hebrews has no validity to it, according to y'all. And see, since you don't read the book of Hebrews, you might not know this is in here, man. So allow me to hopefully help you out, man. You know, if it's only through the spirit of Yahweh and Shah, man. Okay? This is Hebrews 9 and 12 once again. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, no more sacrifice, no more animal sacrifice, okay? Because it was no good no more. Because why? Because Israel continued to sin and just continued to sacrifice another animal, okay? But by his own blood, who is, who is this? His own blood, Yahweh Shah. He entered at once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. For if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of heifers, sprinkling the unclean, sanctify to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Yahweh Shah? who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot. Yahweh Shah had no blemish on him. To Yahweh purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God, Yahweh. And for this, he is the mediator. Uh oh, they're going to word again. He is the mediator of the New Testament that by means of death for the redemption of the transgression that were under the first testament, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance, man. There you have it, man. There you have it. So without Yahweh Shah, man, we will have no what, man? We will have no inheritance, man. No eternal inheritance, man. Okay? That wouldn't exist, man, because Yahweh Shah is the mediator, man. Yahweh Shah was the ultimate sacrifice, man, without spot, without blemish, man, for the sins of the children of Israel, man, for us to come back to the Father Yahweh, man, okay? You can't get around this, man, all right? But let's continue on, man. Let's go back to Romans, man. This is Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. Verse 27. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the spirit because he maketh intersection for the saints according to the will of God. Let, woo, let's read that again. Let's read that again. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 27. And he, who is that he is talking about? Yahweh Shah, that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of of the spirit, okay? Because your spirit is where? In your mind, man. <clears throat> because he make you intercession. He make you intercession. Uh, who is that he again? Yahweh Shah. For the saints according to the will of Yahweh. All right? There you have it, man. Because Yahweh Shah was predestined for this spot, man. Okay? He was pre predestined for this spot, okay? Once again, man. But you guys gonna show some respect, man. Y'all gonna bow down to your house shop, man. You gonna bow down, man. Who in the hell come to save us, man? Who in the hell come to save us from Esau and these other heathen nations, man? And even two-thirds of our own people. The hopeful elect. 
Who is that coming to save us? It sure ain't Yahweh. Yahweh don't move off his throne, man. But his son is coming back to do the bidding of his father. He's coming back to save us. That's not worthy to be praised. Man, y'all niggas tripping, man. Okay. Let's continue on, man. Let's stay in the book of Hebrews, man. Okay. This is Hebrews 8 and 6, man. I mean, slack it. Let's stay in the book of Romans. This is the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 6, man. Okay. This is Romans, chapter 8, verse 6. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritual minded is life and peace, man. Amen. Sakar, Alazar. Y'all are carnally minded, man. Okay, y'all not spiritual, man. Okay, not at all, man. All right, let's read that again, man. Romans 86, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritual minded is life and peace, man. <laughs> there you have it, man. There you have it, straight to the point, man. Straight to the point, man. Let's go back to Hebrews, man. This is Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 to 6, man. Yahweh, who at sundry times and in divers manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these days slept, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son. Woo, Yahweh shot. By his son. Let's read that part again. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, Yahweh Shah, whom he hath appointed heirs of all things. Do you hear that, Sakar? By whom also he made the world. Amen. Yahweh Shah made the world. Not Yahweh. Yahweh Shah, man. Because Yahweh anointed him. This power, man, he gave him this power. Because once again, he was well pleased with his son. From the beginning, man, he's the first spirit created, man. Yahweh shot, man. Okay? Let's continue on, man. Who being the brightness, his glory, and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, Set down on the right hand on the majestic on high. That's right, man. He purged our sins, man. When he was what? When he was crucified on that cross, man. Okay? He sat down on the right hand side of the majestic one. That would be your house. Okay? Being made so much better than the angels. Yeah, that's your house shot. Being made so much better than the angels as he had by inheritance obtain a more excellent name than they. For unto which of the angels said he at any time thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee and again I will be to him a father and he shall be to me a son. This is how much Yahweh loved his son Yahweh shot and how pleased he is with his son. And again when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world. Who is the first begotten? Yahweh Shah, the first spirit created. He said, let all the angels of Yahweh worship him. So, with that being said, uh, Alazar Sakar, do you think you are higher up than the angels, man? <laughs> and Yahweh Shah is higher up than the angels, man. Yeah. Because he's the first Spirit created, man. Okay? Given what? Given all power of the worlds, man. The worlds that he made. Yahweh shot, man. Okay? Yahweh gave him that power, man. And he's not to be worshipped. And y'all true. Let's continue on. What's going on, bro? Let's continue on, man. This is Matthew, man. Let's go to the book of Matthew, man. This is Matthew chapter 17, verses 1 to 5, man. 
And after six days, Jehoshaphat talk with Peter, James, and John and his brother and bringing them up into a high mountain apart. And he was transfigurated before them and his face did shine as the sun and his raiment was white as the light. Hold on, let me read that part again, man. Because I don't think y'all understand this, man. Yahweh took the disciples up to the mountain, man, and he, he uh, was transfigurated. What does that mean? He changed his face, man. He changed his countenance, man. Let's read that again, man. And he was trans, transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and raiment was white as light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias talking with them. <laughs> That's the power you have a shot got, man. Okay? And what does that mean, man? He appeared as Moses and Elias talking to them. Okay? Moses was the law, right? And Elias was the prophet. Okay? Let's keep on going, man. Then answered Peter and said unto you, How shall I know it? It is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles. One for thee, one for Moses, and one for Elias. While yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. So as Peter said, there's a bright cloud overshadowed them. That cloud meaning a so-called UFO, a chariot, okay? And beheld a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved son, whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face, and they were afraid. So <laughs> the father said, this is my son. I am well pleased with him. What the hell is you niggas talking about, man? Okay? But you know what it is, man? Y'all love this world, man. I pray every day that this world get destroyed, man. I hate this world. I hate my life. Y'all niggas love y'all life, man. We ain't the same, man. We hate this world. We hate being slaves, man. But y'all niggas love this world, man. Y'all niggas got plans of building communities here, man. Selling merchandises and shit, man. Man, fuck this world. Okay? Let's continue on, man. Let's go to the book of Acts, man. This is Acts. It's a lot. Let's go to the book of Revelation. It's a lot. This is Revelation chapter 5. We're going to start at verse 2, man. We're going to read down a little bit. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? What book is this talking about? The Bible, man. Who is worthy to open the book? Because until Yahweh Shah came, nobody was worthy to open the book. So, ask you, Carl, let me ask you a question, man. You wouldn't even know the truth that you do know if it wasn't for Yahweh Shah, man. He was worthy to open the book. And no man in heaven, nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. Hey Amen. So not even the angels can open the book, man. Okay? And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, Yahweh Shai, have prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. <laughs> and I behold, lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb. Who is that lamb talking about? Yahweh Shai. As it had been slain, because how was he slain? When he was crucified on that cross, man. Having Seven horns and seven eyes, that's talking about all power, man. All power and all knowing, man. That's a metaphor, okay? 
which are the seven spirits of Yahweh sent forth into all the world. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them hearts. It's like every one of them having hearts and golden vials full of odor, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to Yahweh by thy blood out of every kindred and out of tongue and people and nation. Which is talking about who? The Israelite foreigners, man. Because we was all dispersed throughout the four corners of the earth, man. That's not talking about the natural Gentile. Let's make sure we get that clear. So even the 24 elders fell down and worshiped Yahweh shot in heaven, man. Okay? Even they worship him, man. Okay? So you telling me, Sakar, you're not going to worship Yahweh shot, man? Well, you're going to die then, man. Okay? That's just all there is to it, man. All right? Let's continue on, man. Let's stay here in our Romans, I mean, in our Revelation slot. This is Revelation chapter 5, stay in verse 5. Verses 11 and 13, man. And I beheld, I heard the voice of many angels around about the throne and the beasts and the elders and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb, Yahweh shot, that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and on the earth, such as uh, are in the sea that are in them, heard I say, blessed and honor and glory and power be unto him that sit upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever, man. They're worshiping Yahweh Shah, man. They're worshiping Yahweh Shah, man. Okay, you got the doggone angels in heaven Worshiping your house shot, man. So you telling me y'all niggas ain't gonna worship your house shot? You niggas gonna die, man. You gonna die a violent death, man. Your house shot ain't nothing to play with, man. Are you crazy? Hey, man, when your house shot was here on the earth, he said, man, I can call them 12 legions of angels, man. But he didn't. He took that, man. He took that lower, lower state, man. He took that, man. Because, hey, man, when he was on the earth the first time, he came as a lamb. But this time when he come back, he come back what? As a lion. Because then Yahweh Shah said, I shall not meet thee as a man. <laughs> he come with all power, man. He coming back as the royal lion from the tribe of Judah, man. The ultimate Judah. Okay? Yahweh and Yahweh Shah are the ultimate Judahites, man. Or in today, ladies, they are the ultimate Negroes, man. You don't want no problem with your house shot, man. And if you got a problem with your house shot, quite naturally, you got a problem with your house. Okay? Because once again, they are one. Okay? Father and son, two separate beings, but one in thought, one in mind, one in spirit. Okay? Let's, let's make that clear. All right? Let's continue on. Man. Let's go back to Matthew, man. This is Matthew chapter 28, man. All right? Matthew chapter 28, <clears throat> verse 9. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Yahweh shot met them, saying, All hell. And they came and held him by the feet and worshiped him. Did you hear that, Sakar? <laughs> man, you niggas is a joke, man. Okay, let's continue on, man. Okay. Let's jump down to verse uh, 17, man. This is Matthew 28, 17. And when they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted. That's you niggas, man. Let's read that part again. Matthew 28, 17. 
And when they saw him, they worshiped him. Okay, and that would represent us today, us hopeful elect, because we're still worshiping Yahweh Shah, as well as the Father Yahweh. But some doubted. That would be you, Sakar. Okay, Alazar. That would be you, man. You doubting, man. But once again, man, this is nothing new, man, because there's a thing called reincarnation, man. We all have been here plenty of times, man. This ain't your first time on earth. None of us, man. Your spirit that's inside your vessel, your body, is ancient, man. Yeah, it's ancient. Let's continue on, man. Let's continue on, man. All right. Let's go to the book of Exodus, man. This is Exodus chapter 23. All right. Exodus. Chapter 23, verse, see what we're start at. Start at verse 20 to 22. Behold, I send an angel, because your house shot is the top angel, man. Behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Now, this is your Yahweh talk, okay? I sent an angel to y'all, man. Beware of him. Let's read that part again. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgression. For my name is in his name. Once again, this is why we say Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Yahweh just said, my name is in his name. This is how we know it's talking about Yahweh shot. Okay? Alright? But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then will I be an enemy unto thy enemies and an adversary to thy adversary, man. Did you hear that, man? Alright? Let's continue on, man. Let's go to John, man. This is the book of John. Chapter 21. Okay. This is uh, John chapter 21, verses 24 and 25. Man. Okay. This is the disciple which testify of these things and wrote these things and we know that his testimony is true and there are also many other things which Yahweh did the which if they could be written and every one I suppose even the world itself could not contain the book that should be written amen so amen Yahweh did so many miracles man there is not a book that can be created that can't contain it, man. <laughs> but y'all gonna doubt him? And y'all niggas is off, man. It's lucky, family. Let's You gonna doubt your how shot man? Your how shot did so many miraculous things and so many miracles. There's a book that can't contain it, man. If you create a book, it would not be able to contain all the miracles and miraculous things he did, man. Okay? But well, let's continue on, nevertheless. Let's continue on. Alright. Let's go to uh Philippians, man. Alright. We're going to start at chapter 2, man. Okay, we're right about verse 6, man. In Philippians, man. So this is Philippians chapter 2. We're going to start at about verse 6, man. Who being in the form of Yahweh thought it not robbery to be equal with Yahweh, but made himself no reputation 
and took upon him the form of a servant. This is talking about Yahweh Shah now. Okay? He took on the form of a servant, Yahweh Shah. Okay? Let's read that part again. Let's start this from the top. This is Philippians chapter 2, verse 6. Who being in the form of Yahweh, but the Father and the Son are two totally different people, man. Okay? Two totally different spirits. For as many people. Who being in the form of Yahweh, thought it not robbery to be equal with Yahweh, but made himself no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant. That's how much humility Yahweh Shah had, man. And this is one thing, it's a car that you don't got, man. You ain't got humility, man. You're not a humble person, man, Alazar. You're a very arrogant and prideful person, man. Okay, and everybody see it, man. All right? And was made like the likeness of man. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, Yahweh also have highly exalted him, and giving him a name which is above every other name. That at the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and the things in the earth and the things upon the earth. Okay? And that every tongue shall confess that Yahweh Shai is Lord to the glory of Yahweh the Father, man. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed. So, like, I'm going to start right there, man. I'm going to start right there. Okay? Hey, man, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess, man. Okay? You're going to acknowledge and bow down to your house shout, man. Sakaar. Yeah, you're going to do that, man. Okay, let's continue on, man. Let's continue on, man. Let's go to first John, man. Let's go to first John. All right? This is 1 John chapter 2, man. All right. This is 1 John chapter 2. We're going to start at uh, verse 20. 1 John chapter 2, verse 20. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know of all things. Who's that talking about? You have a shot. Man. I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, because ye know it, and that no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar? But he that denieth that Yahweh shot. Okay? He is an antichrist and denieth the Father and the Son. Did you hear that, Sakar? Haven't I been saying throughout this lesson that the Father and Son are one? Okay? In spirit? Okay? In thought? Okay? In beliefs? In doctrine? So let me read this last part again, man. And this is particular to you, man. Who is a liar, but he that denieth Yahweh Shah, he is an antichrist. Hey, Alazar, you are antichrist, man. He denied the Father and the Son. So, if you're not going to uh, worship and deny Yahweh Shah, well, you deny Yahweh as well, man. You're an antichrist, man. Because antichrist is not one person. Hell no, man. If you don't know this whole doctrine, okay, and 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 hundred percent of it, you're an antichrist, man. If you out here trying to preach it and you don't preach it correctly, man. And the thing about you, Sakar, you're doing, hey man, <laughs> hey man, you really in your in your feeble mind, you really think you are correct, man. And that's why your howl boy should y'all shot have given you over to illusions, man. Hey man. I pray that you repent, man. But hey, man, nevertheless, man, you got too much pride, man, too much arrogance, man. You ain't gonna repent, man, because you wanna be the one, man. You know what I mean? You wanna be the one, man. Okay? You envious of your house shot. You hate your house shot. So, hey, man, quite naturally, just like the scripture said, that means you hate the father of your house as well, man. Okay? Let's continue on, man. Let's go to 1 Peter, man. Okay. This is First Peter chapter three. So lock it, man. 
Okay, yeah, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 18 and 22. For Yahweh shall also have once suffered for our sins. How did he suffer for our sins? He was crucified on that cross, man. For the just, for the unjust, that he might bring us to Yahweh, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit, by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison, which sometimes were disobedient, when once the long suffering of Yahweh waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was being prepared, wherein few, that is, eight souls, were saved by water. The figure were unto even baptism, do also now save us, not the putting away of the filthy of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience is towards Yahweh by the resurrection of Yahweh Shai, who is gone into heaven and is on the right hand of Yahweh, and angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him. But you ain't gonna worship Yahweh Shai, huh? <laughs> Yeah, y'all guys are done, man. You're done, man. Let's go to Matthew, man. This is Matthew chapter 9. Matthew chapter 9, verse 6 to 8. But that ye may know that the Son of Man have power over the earth to forgive for sins. So, hey, man, who are you going to pray to to forgive you for your sins then? Sakaar. Because you cannot go to your house. That's had already been established, man, several, several times throughout this lesson, man. Because once again, let's don't forget, your house shot is a mediator, okay, between man and the father, okay? So who are you going to go to to forgive you for your sins then? Sakar, Alazar? <laughs> hey, man, y'all niggas is done. All right? Arise, take up thy bed and go into thy house. So like, let, let, let me uh, read this part right here. Then said he take up the sick of the palsy. Arise, up, take thy bed and go into thy house. And he arose and departed to his house. But when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified Yahweh, which had given such power unto man. So look, man, Yahweh Shah, when he was on earth, one of his many miracles he did, a man had palsy. Yahweh Shah commanded the palsy to lead the man body. Now he could walk, man. Okay? Because they had to carry the man to meet Yahweh Shah when Yahweh Shah was preaching in the temple, man. Okay? And then they marveled at Yahweh Shah. You dig what I'm saying? Praying to Yahweh. For giving Yahweh Shah this power, man. But you're not going to worship Yahweh Shah, man? <laughs> Niggas is tripping, man. But let's continue on, nevertheless. Let's go to John. This is John chapter 3, verse 36. Okay. John chapter 3, verse 36. All right. He that believeth on the Son have everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life. You hear that, Sakar? Let's start it from the top, Shelby. He that believeth on the Son shall have everlasting life. What's his name? Yahweh Shai. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of Yahweh abideth on him. Let's read that one more time, man. Just in case you didn't hear me, Alizar. He that believeth on the Son have everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of Yahweh abideth on him. <laughs> How can you get around this, man? Huh? How can you get around this, man? Alright? Let's go to John chapter... Uh, Chapter 11, verse 25 and 26. This is John chapter 11, verses 25 and 26. 
Okay. Yahweh Shah said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me through Salaki. Start from the top. Yahweh Shah said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? But Sakar, you don't believe that, man. Hmm? You don't believe that. Let's go to the book of uh, let's go to the book of Michael, man. Because once again, man, who's coming with healing in his wings, man? You have a shot, man. This is Micah chapter 4, verse 2 and 3. And many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain to the Lord and to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us. Salah, Salah, wrong scripture, wrong scripture. No, that's the right one. That's the right one. Go back to Micah. Y'all niggas is tripping, man. Micah chapter 4, verses 2 and 3. And many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountains, to the government, because mountains is significant with government of the Lord and to the house of the God of Jacob, okay, Yahweh. And he will teach us his ways, and we will speak and walk in his path. For the law shall go forth of Zion and the word of the Lord at Jerusalem. And he shall judge among many people and rebuke strong nations afar off. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into prune hooks. And shall not lift up a sword against any, neither shall not learn war anymore. Verse 4. But they shall sit every man under his vine, under his fig tree, and none of them shall be afraid for the Lord of hosts have spoken in it, man. Hey, man, there you have it, man. This is what Yahweh Bush me out shot gonna do, man. That wasn't a particular scripture I was really looking for, but hey, man, that'll do, man. That will do, man. Okay? Because he's the one that's gonna bring peace on the earth. Yahweh Shah is. But you're not gonna worship him? <laughs> Salak, you family. But once again, man, none of this is new, man. Y'all those same spirits back, man. Okay? They ain't called reincarnations, man. Because y'all are the same, y'all are the same spirits that say when your house shall be crucified, y'all the same spirits that let his blood be on us and our children, man. Okay? Y'all are the same niggas that said we have no king but Caesar, man. And let's get that, man. This is Matthew chapter 27. Verse 25, I'm talking to you, Alizar, Sakar. This is uh, Matthew, because y'all don't say niggas, man. This is Matthew, chapter 27, verse 25. Then answer all the people and said, his blood be on us and our children. So this is why you see Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians getting gunned down in the streets, man, and dying. Especially among you Negroes, man. This is why you see the Negroes keep getting gunned down in the streets, man. Because y'all are those same spirits that said, let his blood be on us and our children. And the Lord, he oblige you. But that's your mind state, Alizar. Okay, let me read it one more time, man. Okay. Matthew 27 and 25. Then answered all the people and said, his blood be on us and our children. Hey, man, and the Lord heard you. Okay. Let's go to the book of John, man. This is John chapter 19, man. All right? This is John chapter 19. All right? John chapter 19, verse 15, man. Okay? But this is your mind, Stacey Card. But they cried out, away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pontius Pilate said unto them, shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, we have no king but Caesar. And that's still the mind state of you niggas, man. You have no king but Caesar, man. That's still y'all mind state, man, because y'all don't believe on the Messiah, man. 
Okay? There's no way to get to the Father but through the Messiah, man, Yahweh Shah, man. All right? But once again, man, y'all goes uh, wicked spirits back, man, through the, re through the reincarnation, man. Okay? Because there's nothing on this earth that you can say is new, man. Okay? You remember growing up and the old folks saying, hey, man, ain't nothing new up under the sun? Huh? And I know you heard that. Ain't nothing new up under the sun? What does that really mean? Ain't nothing new up under the sun, man. <laughs> Reincarnation, man. All right? Let's read again, man. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 9, man. Because you wicked niggas, man, y'all hated the Messiah when he was on the scene 2,000 years ago, and y'all still hate him today, man, because y'all are those same spirits, man. Okay? Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord, thy God, Yahweh, am a jealous God, Yahweh, visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, man. There you have it, man. That's you niggas, man. Okay? Let's continue on, man. Let's go to the book of John, man. This is John chapter 8, verse 44 to 49, man. Okay? John chapter 8, verse 44 to 49, man. Ye are of your fathers the devil, and the lust of your fathers ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, a bold not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not, which you conceiveth me a sin, and if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of Yahweh, hear of Yahweh's words, ye therefore Hear them not, because ye are not of your house. Then answered the Jews, said unto him, Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan, and has there a devil? Yahweh shall answer, I have not a devil, but I honor my father, and ye dishonor me. And I seek not my own glory, but there is one that seeketh and judges. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my sins, he shall never die, man. Then said the Jews unto him, now we know that thou hast a devil. Abraham is dead, the prophets, thou saying, if a man keep my sins, he shall not never die. Are thou greater than our fathers Abraham, which is dead, and the prophets are dead, whom thou makest thyself, and Yahweh shall answer, if I honor myself. My honor is nothing. It is my father that is honored of me, and whom ye say he is of your God. Ye know not know him, but I know him. And if I should say I knew him not, I shall be a liar like unto you, but I know him and keep his saying. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Then the Jews said to him, Thou art not fifty years old. Has thou seen Abraham? Yahweh shall say unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was I, <laughs> then took up thy stone to cast at him. And Yahweh shall hid himself, and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, so passed by. That's right, man. When Yahweh shall told y'all that, y'all was ready to kill him, man. Okay? And I'm going to end it with this scripture right here. Okay? All right. This is John chapter 12, verse 48, man. And I'm going to end it right there, man. This is John chapter 12, verse 48, man. He that rejecteth me receiveth not my word, how that judges him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. Let's read that one more time, man. This is John chapter 12, verse 48. He that rejecteth me and receive not my words, have one that judges him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. There you have it, man. 
So I hope this lesson was edifying. I hope those who come across it receive some type of edification. But until next time, all praises to Yahweh, Boaz Shem, Yahweh Shah, Rekar Kadash. Shalom, family.